Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am sitting here in the sun taking a break. We went yard selling yesterday for 13 hours, roughly. Um, my, my family and I, it's a family event. Um, every year we pile in the truck and we go down to the rural town of Mazelik, Kentucky, and then we head south on 68 see what kind of treasures we can find. So I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. And I thank you so much for being here. I appreciate the support. And let's get to showing you what I bought. Okay guys, so to start with, we bought these two Cricut machines. They were $5 each. Um, that was primarily the reason for buying this purchase. Um, we didn't know anything about them, only that I had friends that had used them in the past <clears throat> but these are the older models and I think we're just going to save ourselves the trouble of shipping these and we're going to do a local pickup sale on these so um, maybe turn to like Facebook marketplace or something like that to try to make a local sale um, next we have a few items of paper that we found we love finding old things like this. I mean, they're always great for resale and they're, they're great to look at. They're fun. Um, this was basically an advertisement letting people know when the livestock, when the livestock auction, ugh. this was basically to let people know when the livestock auction was going to happen and who was putting it on. Um, this next one, we have a advertisement for uh, campaign for a sheriff um, and this is dated 1949 and let's see both of these tobacco advertising um, for different companies and there are little needles um, needle holders inside so these are something that would have either been sold for a very low amount or just given away for advertisement um, Moving on, we found these, uh, I found these on Thursday, I believe, and then these on Friday. So these I found on the 25 sale. Um, they are having a Route 25 sale this week, um, or this weekend as well as the uh, Route 68 sale. The 25 sale is a little closer to us, but we find that we usually find a lot more on the 68 sale. But I was really happy um, to purchase these at the uh, 25 sale and I paid a dollar each for these and I met a really nice really nice couple of guys there um, one guy was named Randy and he said that he loves watching these kind of videos and I let him know to check out my channel and I hope he does that if Randy if you're watching it was great to meet you buddy great conversation my husband found these on Friday on the uh, Maysville sale. These are pretty awesome. Look at the graphics on those things. So cute. On the package still, so you can advertise that as new old stock. People love that kind of stuff. Um, we did find this Mammoth Cave. Um, I think we found this at a church sale in Mayslick. Mammoth, Mammoth Cave glass there. Um, found this cute little wiener dog Dotson figurine or figure I guess you'd say he has a really unique looking stamp on the foot I have not been able to find anything on this guy I paid two dollars for him and let's see he's just so cute isn't he so adorable oh I wanted to keep showing you the paper we found um, report cards from a military institute out of Millersburg um, all through the 40s we have all of this uh, cadet Roy Strickland juniors uh, report cards so that's pretty cool and it even has this little picture there I thought that was sweet we only paid a few bucks for those too also two dollars these I paid ten for these are a calendar of DePaul University. Um, really neat graphics inside of here. It, it's funny, they mixed graphics with, with photos in some of them. And uh, just really, really um, 
really neatly made calendars there. So 1906 on this one, 1905 on this one. And the same thing, like it's, uh, wow, that's gorgeous. Some of them feature several of the months at once. That didn't feature any months. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the depiction of that guy's nose. That's pretty funny. So I paid 10 on those, like I said, which was good. This was one of the most awesome finds of the day by me. Look at those jackalopes. Oh my goodness. So I paid 35. I did a, they were 20 each and the guy gave me a little deal, gave me $5 off. But these things are, they're really rare and they are both um, four point on the antlers. Um, I'm expecting that these are going to do really well. I have a feeling that they are. I bought this on Thursday. It's an, it's a laundry basket. I buy these because people will rebuy, you know, uh, people will buy these on eBay as a nostalgic kind of, you know, they want to buy back a memory of, you know, they might've had this in their aunt's house or their grandma's house or something like that. I, I find usually the person has let me know that they bought it because it had been in their past. Um, this is pretty neat. These, I'll, I'll kind of just dump out the box if I can, these little tools. This was made, they're game pieces for, I won't, I won't remember the name of the, the name of the game, but I think it has jacks in the titles, like straws and jacks or something maybe? I know I'm going to get that wrong. Um, leave me a comment if you know what game that those are from, but I thought those were pretty awesome. Those were, those were also bought um, near Millersburg. I did pay 15 for those. I, I just thought they were so cool. And I don't know. We'll see what they end up selling for. This I paid a dollar for. Born to Fish. Forced to Work. Made in USA. Snapback hat. Found old safety glasses for a dollar each. We'll see what happens with those. Look at how amazing that is. It's so neat. It's an old bank bag. Has a lock up here, locks the zipper somehow or another, but it's from Merchants National Bank, Hillsboro, Ohio, the number two, 215. It's marked. Um, paid two dollars for this. And this Winston Cup bear, I paid a buck for him. He has the tag on him. Um, he does have a little bit of condition issue. But I'll try to clean him up a little bit and see what I can get out of him. This is my favorite find of the day, guys. I found these this box of old photos for $10. It has a lot of um, portrait-type pictures up here, too. But what I love looking at are the old snapshots. Look at that. These guys and their undies. 1957. They look like they're just having a grand old time. Look at those beer bottles. Oh, my goodness. They really had a... They really had a party. Um, so yeah, I enjoy looking through these. I'm, I might make a video um, solely about looking through this box of photos. I just enjoy it so much. And maybe you'll want to go along with me on that journey of looking through the whole box. Look for that video in the future. Um, my husband picked this bottle up for a dollar. And this is uh, Rock Hill Farms Single Barrel Bourbon. It's an empty bottle, but people do collect these. I found this earring, earring making kit, and it looked like a few of them had been used, but in the back portion of it, a lot of them look like they have been untouched. Um, this isn't old, and that's usually the stuff that I, that I try to buy is like the older things, but we did buy a few. Um, newer modern things today to to resell so we'll see what happens with that i gotta give props to my mother-in-law she picked this um 
really interesting mosaic um, handmade skull up yesterday. She paid $15 for this. She said, you know, I just want to get my $15 back and you guys can sell it or keep it or do whatever you want. I'm going to look into reselling it. It, it is, t the inside is totally um, formed of, and it's hollow, but it's formed from styrofoam. So, and it, the eyes are LED light up. So she spent 15 on that. We paid her back immediately. So that is pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that she found that because somebody is going to really enjoy that. Um, moving along, we found this uh, vintage bathing suit, Illusions by Cole was the name of it. It said it was made in Mexico. I'm really not sure if this is an 80s or a 70s suit, just in looking at how it was made and what it looks like it was made by. It said it was made in Mexico. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, let's see. I mean, it looks really nice. Looks very, very nice. But the form of it, it was just reminding me of something a little bit older than the 80s. This was $2. Um, so we picked up a few Crown Royal bags for 50 cents. And this one has features Kentucky on it. Um, let's see. We have some green, purple, and a tan there. I'm really not sure on those either. Um, I'm sure we'll keep a few of those and then maybe see what the resale value is as well. I spent $4 on this um, DuPont Jeff Gordon uh, light fixture cover. It's glass and it has the original, original boxing to go along with it. I think this is pretty cool. Um, people seem to be buying up some of the older NASCAR things, like the, the vintage um, 90s NASCAR things. Um, let's see, moving along, we've got this cake. Um, I, I guess you'd say a bunk cake, yeah. Swan's Down Cake Flour Makes Better Cakes. That's their advertisement on the inside. And they've got a little advertisement on the, on the sides there as well. This was $2. Um, we'll see on that it's very interesting i i like it i mean i could see it hanging in someone's wall as a decoration it would be easy to do super cute i'm gonna go back and let you guys see the super mario sunshine game that we picked up for one dollar i listed this today for um i believe i listed it for 90. um so we'll see what happens on that i do think i had the offers turned off right now i might turn the offers on after a few days we'll see what happens if i don't get a lot of action on it at 90. Um, it does look really good inside though everything's um, programs there um, the game looks you know pretty good it had a few surface scratches um let's see moving along this was a loss <laughs> i did look this up I paid five dollars for this and i'll show you in the video but i found a comp see this was one that i just kind of bought without looking up but i found a comp where one sold for four dollars and 99 cents so I, that was definitely a loss so this we really wasn't that sure about we paid five dollars for it we thought that it kind of looked like buddy lee um the person that we bought it from said that it had been in their family for quite some time, but they were just motivated to get rid of things and they sold this for $5 um, to us. So we will be looking that up. It has a lot of condition issues with the composite head um, all the way around. I bought this latch hook rug for $1. It has a kind of a neat um, geometrical shape. This is gonna be, I think, without looking i'm not really positive i think this is from like the early 80s pretty sure it's got some cool colors there picked up this harlem globetrotters jersey for one dollar um it it does have a little bit of wear to it it's a size medium number six i think that the person's name was hoops um so 
we'll see on that. Picked up this Rasco fire retardant um, uh, overalls. And looks like it says waste is 46, inseam 30. I, I don't know about the comps on this. I looked them up and I still need to do my homework on that. I will let you know in the video what, what they look like they're going to sell for. Um, <clears throat> my husband bought this along with this jacket right here for $40. He, so he paid $40 for this set of the two. The jacket now, I have higher hopes for the jacket than the pants. Um, the jacket had some very good looking comps. So while I'm over here, I'm just gonna show you my other, um, the other, I shouldn't say my, my husband's other find. Um, this Buckingham climbing gear, climbing belt. He got so lucky on this. Thankfully, what's his is mine. He paid $50 for this. Um, he asked the guy if he would go down to 40, but the guy said no, he had to stick with 50 because it was a really good, really good name and everything. We looked this thing up, anywhere from four to $600 is gonna be the return on this thing. It's kind of amazing. I mean, I, I didn't see the thing. I walked right by it. Um, so yeah, I'm glad my husband was with me because this is a really good item and you can bet that I'm going to keep my eye open for things like this now. Show you the buckles in the front. I've got to hang it here on my clothesline just because it was a good place to, to display it. So back, back to the table for 10 bucks. We paid, um, paid 10 bucks for these. These are characters that are marked GW and I haven't looked any of these up yet I'll be dropping some information in this video when I get to um, look them up I don't know if these are all from the same game if they're from two different games or maybe even three different games we got three different kind of well maybe two different color schemes going on there so if anybody knows what GW is, maybe I'll find out before I post this video. But yeah, GW, 1991 and 1992, most of them say. And we paid 10 for this box and the box underneath. So pretty good, for, I mean, pretty good quantity for $10. We paid $8 for this vintage purse. It's a vintage bag purse, I guess you'd say. It cinches together at the top. It's all completely leather. I'll be looking that up. I, I believe it's like a boho kind of style. Um, but this actually goes back probably to 70s, I would say. <clears throat> like I said, we paid eight for that. Um, I paid four for this. Or What did I pay? Yeah, I paid four for this um, jacket here this is a size four and I just thought it was so daggone adorable. I could not leave it there at the sale. Um, I don't know if it's probably a nineties, nineties era jacket. It's so cute. I just, I wish my boys were little enough to go in that again. Picked up a pampered chef, um, bar pan at the same sale that I picked up this Microsoft keyboard. This is going to have a good return. Um, I'm not positive about the Microsoft keyboard. I tried to bundle this together um, with, I think it was a hat that I, the hat that I bought about fishing. And I tried to bundle the three together and get them for 15 bucks. This was originally post, or listed for 10, 10, and a dollar on the hat. And so I asked if they would take 15. The lady was not impressed that I asked her to take less. People do seem to sort of get offended sometimes. Not that I'm out to offend anyone. Definitely not. Um, this Singer sewing machine is, we found out that it's encased in a different, a different, different um, holder in case than it would have normally been. But I just wanted to show you some of the detail on the side 
um, was pretty cool. We found that this will bring decent, decent amount of return. Um, we paid 20 is what we paid for this one. And somebody has put on a newer foot pedal. Um, the man did let us know that one before we bought it. So the foot pedal has been updated. So this is actually something that somebody could sit down and use. Um, I will go ahead and just show you the last few items. I bought this sweater. It has um, some beading. I don't know if you call that beading. It's metal. I thought that was pretty neat. It has the darted, darted uh, sleeve tops. I thought somebody would think that that was pretty cute if somebody's into early 80s clothing. And this Levi, this Levi um, sweatshirt, sit on it. $2 on that one. A buck on this sweater here. This sit on it logo, I remember that from Happy Days. I know this shirt doesn't go back to Happy Days. I know it's uh, probably 90s actually. But yeah, that's what I think of when I think of that phrase or that logo is Fonzie from the Happy Days. So um, let's see. This was all. This was five dollars. This um, denim denim jacket here save the planet hard rock cafe washington dc so i'll post that it really depends on what city they're all over the place as far as comps goes but it depends on what city that you list um as to how well it'll do like let's just say i found a comp that new york new york did better than um you know maybe say like Florida or whatever or Texas so it just depends on the city and let's see last but not least we have this Woolrich Woolrich jacket two dollars I spent on that that has a really awesome color to it from the 90s it's very lightweight when you think of Woolrich I think of like something very warm and cozy and comfortable this is very much like a spring jacket lightweight so we'll see what happens with that got its own little bag that you can slide it down in pretty neat so for two dollars pretty good so you guys I feel like we we shopped and shopped and shopped I feel like we found some great things and <clears throat> I am excited to see what we're gonna get um, out of some of this stuff so <clears throat> I just want to thank you guys again for tuning in and watching this video i hope that you guys will subscribe to my channel i hope that you come back and check out our videos in the future and i just want to say thank you and we'll see you next time